This has been an experience. From the minute you leave the airport and head downtown, you realize Kinshasa is a little different. There's a battle they have about a million times a day, and here it is, two cars fighting over two inches. This isn't an easy place to do a lot of things, including reporting. Well, over the last two months, I've been working with local journalists. A few of the newsrooms actually did stories on the seminars. I've also been in the field shooting and editing stories with reporting teams. With CN TV, I visited an orphanage that might have to close. That would put these kids on the streets. With RTGA, we did a couple of stories about a fishing village. And with Digital Congo, we visited the local downtown market to talk about the same problem Canadians are struggling with, inflation. Ah. They're not happy either. The goal has been to maybe, hopefully, help. If you want to have a healthy democracy, you tend to need a healthy media. So Global kind of loaned two of its journalists out to Journalists for Human Rights. My colleague Rachel Gilmore from our online division has been working in Tunisia. Now, JHR is based in Toronto, but does work in several countries in Africa and the Middle East. They have all sorts of programs promoting equality and human rights. On lit la femme. At its office in Kinshasa last month, it was training journalists to become human rights trainers themselves. And then two days later, those trainers delivered to other journalists. Just in my time here, there have been meetings with women's rights groups, conferences with news directors, and a meeting with government officials where JHR is trying to change the legal system so that women who are victims of sexual assault don't have to pay to press charges. It's hard to compare problems we might complain about in Canada with the ones people experience every day here. Prices may be exploding, but people in this country are already starving. About 30 million people here don't have enough to eat. Add to that violence from militias in eastern parts of the country and tensions with neighboring Rwanda. There is real fear things could spiral out of control. But through all of that, I've met men and women who work hard. Journalists who do the job under conditions I've had trouble believing. In newsrooms here, computers are a luxury. Even pens are hard to come by. And how about reading a live newscast with lights that never stop flickering? Well, they do it all with dedication and professionalism. Now, there is one thing I'll take home with me when I leave this weekend. It's something I pick up in every country I visit. Perspective. A reminder that Canada may not be perfect, but we are absolutely darn lucky. Mike Armstrong, Global News. Kinshasa, the Democratic Republic of the Congo.